Hey, what's happening traders? It's yours truly, Dapo Willis, and welcome back to this highly, very highly anticipated segment of my YouTube channel called The Trader Talk, where I come and break down all my charts, what I'm thinking in the market, what I feel the market is going to do. You know, basically where I come and share my thoughts and um, projections for the week, basically. So guys, two weeks ago, I had done uh, the very first volume of this. So I just need to make sure this is recording So because sometimes I'm out here blabbing for hours. Imagine I'm blabbing for hours and this shit is not even recording. But yeah, we're all good. Anyways, so last week, what I did was... And two weeks ago, I did some analysis on gold and the euro, and the euro absolutely collapsed, smashed our targets, some beautiful 100 and maybe 40 pips. However, gold, on the other hand, was just stuck in the range, right? So um, I decided to wait, wait for an extra week, hence why there was no technical, no trader talk yesterday. There was no technical analysis um, released last week, Tuesday. Sorry, guys flow with me right so the reason i didn't release any video last week tuesday was because i wanted to give gold some time to breathe because sometimes you just need to allow these things breathe and give them some time so i didn't want to come on here and obviously start over analyzing and obviously confuse you guys so the euro absolutely collapsed and smashed our target i'm going to drop a screenshot here i made some not a lot of money but i made a decent amount of money on on, on the euro it was absolutely amazing I took a screenshot for you guys um so the euro is fantastic however gold was just stuck in a range so today i'm going to be going back into my charts and we're going to be looking at those trades that we did predict last um two weeks ago and we're going to be looking at even more trading opportunities that we can take advantage of in the weeks to come so guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is dapo willis but before i get into that you need to kindly do me a little favor just smash the subscribe button right there drop me a like and tell me if you found this segment this video very helpful all right guys so once you've done actually let me give you a second stop right there i'm not going to say anything click the subscribe button right now and drop me a like okay let's wait three two one all right cool so guys let's jump into my screen let's go into the charts let's see what guan and let's see if you can make some money all right guys let's go all right guys so welcome inside of my screen welcome to my chart what we have in front of us right here is the euro dollar right so um, two weeks ago, we did call Euro Dollar shorts. I'm going to be explaining the trade to you guys once again before we proceed. But before I do any of that, I need to get some water. Give me a sec. Great. Now we can proceed. So we are currently looking at the Euro Dollar. Um, this is the daily time frame. But before I get into um, what I feel the euro is going to do next. I'm just going to quickly go over what actually happened in what actually happened uh, two weeks ago that we wanted to start selling um, the euro. So if I just zoom in pretty nicely, so what actually happened that we, we, we did notice that the euro was in an uptrend, um, very clear uptrend. Give me a sec. I'm having difficulties with time frame selection. Give me a sec. I'm going to have you guys up and running. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty. Haven't been on the charts in like two weeks now. Anyways, guys, so I, I don't have time to start explaining Euro, why why I feel the Euro should go up and why it shouldn't come down. I just want to basically touch on what we spoke about last week. If you need some background knowledge on why the Euro is bullish, kindly check volume one of the Trader Talk video. But in this one, I'm just going to simply proceed to tell you that the overall the overall direction of the Euro is bullish. And next level target for this pair is at one point um 1.2400 somewhere slightly above 1.2400 right so i do i do expect the euro to lift off into this region about here as you can see the pair has clearly been making higher highs and higher lows consistently making uh higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs so we're most likely going to come and put in another higher high somewhere around here and historically um, if you look left, this is a major resistance level. If you want to learn how to draw my zones, the, the want to draw the zones the way I draw the zones, um, all of that information is on the Forex Mastery course, but that's not why we're here today. Okay, cool. So last, I keep saying last week. Let's just take it like last week. Okay, two weeks ago. You get what I mean. Two weeks ago, um, the euro was trading somewhere about here. This is exactly where the euro was trading and, and we did predict that the euro was going to collapse all the way into here. Um, it was a very, very decent and very amazing trade. I think this was the 
um, in the trend line that we drew give me a sec guys this was the trend line that we did draw and as you can see the euro came and broke the inner trend line now guys you have to understand something the euro the overall trend for the euro i don't want to confuse anybody so i need to explain to you guys why i decided to go short two weeks ago the overall trend for the euro is bullish however we even within bullish trends there are retracement waves okay so within these retracement waves retracement is nothing more than when the market goes in an impulse leg and it retraces okay the, the market doesn't just as you can see very clearly this market is trying to get here okay this market started off all the way from here it's trying to get here but it didn't just go like psh, it's going up and coming down and going up and coming down and going up and coming down and going up and coming down before it gets here good so our duty as traders is to try and as much as possible to take advantage of the pullbacks the dips the dips okay anytime we push up okay we push up we buy we push up it pulls back we buy we put it pushes up it pulls back and we what we buy so that is that is basically our that's basically our job as trend traders. However, um, because of the fact that we are very aware of um, the, the the nature of um, chart movements, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. So if the market is going to go up and pull down before it goes back up again, that means it's going to come down, right? And what happened two weeks ago was we decided to try and take advantage of a pullback, a retracement into um, what I call a minor level, right? So that's exactly what happened. We realized that the market had this nice impulse leg and then the market was in the process of pulling back. It had broken the inner trend line, okay? It broke the inner trend line. It tested the outer part of the inner trend line and then it was coming back down to test the outer trend line. Now, guys, um, as long as this market stays above this bigger outer trend line, this pair is bullish you have to remember the euro is overall it is pointing to the upside temporarily we are bearish okay as long as we sustain above this region above this trend line right about here I just need to make sure this is recording all right cool so as long as we sustain above this region above this trend line it's so simple and straightforward i just drawn a very basic trend line right it's a very basic one two to the upside done as long as we sustain above this trend line anything above it um we're bullish okay um however even within an overall bullish trend we still have other bullish trends within the bullish trend and it's also possible that within a an overall bullish trend the inner bullish trend can be broken and can turn to a bearish trend so we can have a bearish trend within a bullish trend Meaning that at the moment, temporarily, the market is pulling back. However, overall, the market is still going to go back to the upside. I know I'm taking time to explain this because some people are going to be asking me, well, why did you sell if you say, well, it's the flow of the river and the flow of the river is pointing up. Why did you sell? This is trying to explain it to you guys. Anyway, so long story short, we did our analysis about here. We found a sell position and then the market dropped all the way into our targets beautiful trade um so i'm just gonna quickly come over to the daily time how about guys uh we had a little breakdown in transmission right all right cool um back to what i was saying so like i was saying this is exactly why i'm taking my time out to explain to you guys um why exactly we went short so if i take you to the four hour time frame i just want to quickly show you guys the setup um, that actually happened. So if I just quickly delete this right about here, what had happened was I noticed that um, the market had pulled back significantly. Okay, as you can see, we are we were always making higher highs and higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high, higher low high. However, we came in and dipped somewhere down here, and I knew for sure that this inner uptrend was broken, and then the market wanted to pull back. So what happened was obviously we looked at this region somewhere about here guys don't worry i'm going to get into other pairs soon i just need to explain this to people who um so that they can understand what happened so and uh, the market pulled into here um we were looking at it so we we, we pretty much had a sell set up somewhere around here however i know this market for for free for free i knew that we were not just gonna stay here and just drop down here so what happened was i did 
plot some minor levels that I felt that the market was going to run into before it continued heading higher and this was actually one of them. You can check the previous videos, you can see it. So this was actually one of them and as you can see the market did indeed run into this level. I think it was actually a bit lower somewhere about here. Okay, the market did indeed run into this level. So my, sell, my short positions were somewhere within this region about here. Once I saw this candlestick pattern of this region and then we started collapsing. And then guys, this is where Fibonacci comes into play. Magic. Sometimes when we have a pull down like this, um, it's always advisable for you to wait for a pullback into a major Fibonacci level. Because for me, when I saw that the market was refusing to head lower because ideally the market was just supposed to drop from here, right? But once I saw that the market was refusing to just drop from here, I started to see green candles. I was like, all right, cool. Um, it is possible that we're heading towards FIB. If we get to the FIB and this FIB did not hold, okay, I call this the Willis zone. If this zone did not hold and we broke above, then this sell trade would have been invalid and then um, I would have left it alone and then we would have probably been looking for buy opportunities. However, we did our typical A, B, C pattern completed it in about here. I saw this bearish 4-hour candle close outside of the Fibonacci. As you can see, I waited for a bounce to come out. Didn't sell inside here. Had no business selling inside here. We came inside of here. We bounced out. The first red candle, the second, let me just zoom in. Um, the first red candle, the second red candle, and this is exactly where I decided to go short at 1.21893. And then we dropped all the way down to about 1.207. So if we do the math, so we're probably looking at about a 200 pip drop, maybe about 180 to 200 pip drop, which is absolutely miraculous if you ask me for a counter trend trade. And one thing you guys have to understand is because this trade, we're going against the trend. We're just basically, we just basically came in to catch something quick. Now, anytime you're trading against the trend, never expect the market to just give you the pips. It doesn't just give, especially when you're going against the trend. The market doesn't just give you the damn pips. You know what I mean? Like it's going to take its time. It's going to fool around. It's going to play around. It's going to try and jump back against you. And then it's going to also come down and still try and act like it's confused before it eventually gets to its target. Um, so, yeah, this is the euro sell trade we, we had last week in a nutshell. Um, now, let us talk about some future projections. For those of you who did not catch that move last week, how can you make some money this week? Now, guys, from what I can see in front of us, the market has come into um, the level a base so i can see like a double bottom about here the market has collapsed all the way down here and is looking pretty much bullish to the upside right however i wouldn't be in a hurry to start buying the euro at the moment because um from just from experience i just feel like anytime the market wants to consolidate this is not exactly the very best consolidation if you ask me okay so let me just go over to the four hour chart and see if i can draw a counter trend line very nicely um okay cool so what i feel is going to happen to the euro is this right i personally feel that the, the euro is going to play around this region okay we're going to pretty much stay below here I feel like the euro might come for one last test. I feel like I'm not 100% certain. If I was certain, I would be hopping on the trade. At this point, I'm just trying to basically envision from... So guys, you have to understand that I've been trading this market for about nine years now. So I've seen a lot of patterns in the market. So what I usually do when I come on the chart is I try and look at charts to basically see if I've seen something like this similar, something similar to this before in the past. And from experience, I just feel... I feel uh, like the euro, as long as we sustain now, back to our criteria, right? As long as we sustain beneath this line about here, I feel like the euro might come in for a double bottom to complete somewhere about here before we eventually lift off to the upside because the euro needs to give me a proper counter trend line to trade this shit. <laughs> I don't just like the, the sometimes when the, okay, I, l let me now really explain to you guys. So I, I now know why I'm not comfortable with buying the euro just yet. 
Um, I don't like it when the pullback is too linear. What do I mean? I like when, if this market had come in and given me something like this, uh, something like this, you know, something like this, you know, something like this. Okay, basically making, giving me space to draw a proper counter trend line like so. You know, but this, this this pullback was a little bit too linear for me. It was too close to, it was too, like, you know, it was too close. So I feel like the market still wants to complete a consolidation period kind of like um, before we actually start to head to the upside. I might be wrong. So this, in situations like this, this is what I always try and do, right? I give myself a criteria for market movement, right? So what it is, is as long as we sustain below this level, I would expect the euro coming down here to complete its um, double bottom to head to the upside. Um, but on the flip side, if we can take out this level about here, okay, because this level seems to be holding very strong. If we can take out this level that's about here, um, I don't see any reason why the euro should not be heading um should not be heading to the upside okay let me just draw my horizontal ray right about here and this is why i always like to space out my videos weekly so that i can allow the market breathe and stuff like that without a doubt i have no at the moment the euro is showing me signs of bullishness overall however temporarily it is showing me signs of indecision okay you must always be able to differentiate from both overall and temporarily right temporarily before it was bearish we sold right we knew overall bullish temporarily bearish we sold cut some pips right we still know that overall it is bullish temporarily it is confused okay so um this is it i'm gonna wait for either if i'm expecting a pullback here if the pullback doesn't happen to the upside i'll be looking for buy opportunities anywhere above this region about here for further upside so this is just my thought process on the euro as always i'll be updating you guys on subsequent trader talks it's trader talk volume two um yeah this is not the uh easiest um this is not the easiest setups to analyze however we must always come in here and do our thing right so this is euro usd guys in a nutshell um we have taken some pips it's time to stand on our hands and allow the market consolidate i'm not i'm not that i cannot force the market needs to guys i'm a responsive trader right i don't i don't pride myself in predicting the future like come on i like to make money period so I put my ego aside and allow the market tell me this is what I'm going to do because if I don't listen to the market properly, it will destroy me. Okay? It will destroy me. So this is exactly why I pay very close attention to whatever the price is doing. So at the moment, I'm going to stand aside on the euro. Let's go over to gold because gold seems to be running a bit mad at the moment. Um, 1855 to the ounce. 1855 to the ounce of gold all right so i'm just going to expand it my screen properly um how do i do daily let's go let's try and do, do a daily time frame this is a four hour time frame i don't like analyzing on the four hour time frame let's go over to the monthly whenever we're in doubt we jump over to what the monthly time frame what right whenever we're in doubt we jump over to the monthly time frame great so just back to the monthly time frame again right because we tried to sell gold two weeks ago um gold actually stopped me out for maybe plus 30 pips i'd move my stop loss slightly past break even because i just wasn't feeling the way gold was just jumping up down jumping 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 i was just wasn't having it so i moved my stop losses uh, on the telegram group i did announce give me a second let me drink water That felt good. Anyways, so on the Telegram group, I did announce that um, gold was just because I was expecting as the euro dollar fell, I was expecting gold to follow suit and just break through, but that wasn't happening, right? So from what I can see, ladies and gentlemen, these are the key levels for gold. So we have to go back to the monthly to try and basically get a clear picture once again. This is the overall picture for gold these are the key levels that i've mapped out very nicely 
And then, as you can see, gold has broken above, you know, this major key level. We have come back, broken below it, kind of like tested it, and we're currently trading back above it. Okay, so what this is signifying to me is gold has, well, you can call this a higher high, but I'm not exactly convinced it's a higher high. Okay, to me, it looks like a double top because if I draw um, my, my, if I put in another resistance at the wick of the candle to the left, you can see that this is pretty much a double top. So what is actually happening is gold is stuck between two very significant levels of mine. Gold is stuck between a major level at candle close and gold is also gold is also testing, um, you know, a thin line at at the, at, the, at, the, at the highest point of 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 this week about here. So between here and here, I would, you know, this anytime we're trapped in between two levels like this, it just it just it just seems well, it just screams to me indecision, right? And whenever we're indecisive, I pretty much like to sit on my hands. Um, however, this is what the monthly time frame is saying. So on the monthly time frame, we're stuck between two levels. So I always come on the monthly time frame to give me an overall picture. And I have to be honest with myself. So guys, just because we have we're been indecisive doesn't mean that I'm never going to trade again or I'm not going to make any money. I'm going to make a lot of money. I've made a lot of money in Forex. I'm currently making a lot of money in Forex and I'll continue to make a lot of money in Forex. Now, however, you just need to know when to not trade, right? So whenever it is you come on the monthly time frame and you're doing your analysis, be honest with yourself. Don't analyze to suit your appetite. Don't analyze to suit your what your trading appetite. Analyze to see. Analyze to be enlightened. Analyze to be enlightened. Analyze to see. Analyze to see. And that is what it is right now. So um, between here and here, I can see them, you know, the guys battling. The guys battling between here and here. So I'm gonna escape from my monthly time frame. Let's try and see what's actually happening on lower time frame so if you go to the weekly just to basically see what the weekly is saying okay once again the weekly candle came and closed if i just delete this the weekly candle came and, and has closed right on the major level right there okay and it has reversed significantly this is a reversal candlestick pattern right about here a reversal candlestick pattern right about here on a major level and if you look at it we have a low we have equal highs and this is pretty much a higher high from this one so and however we also have a descending trend line like so so we can look at this two ways <laughs> we can look at it in such a way whereby okay we are testing the top of the this is this is a descending trend line we're topping here and we want to come lower or we want to blow out to the upside um initially two weeks ago i had called a completely bearish move on gold um however because of how gold has behaved now guys i would have been 100 percent even more bearish if we had broken here properly but we came in with we failed the market has failed to break this level. Gold, you have failed. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just being dramatic. Okay, gold has just been unable to come and sustain below this level about here. And this just breeds a lot of indecision to me, right? Um, so what am I going to do in essence? Let's go over to the daily time frame. At this point, we're going to have to wait on gold for gold. Because, guys, um, gold can be quite crazy. So... The setup was very simple and straightforward. I remember calling gold short somewhere about here. Um, my target were, was supposed to be all the way down here. This was my first level target and then I had another one somewhere about here. Okay. So I was expecting us to come and melt all the way down here. However, the market did give me, so I think I was short somewhere inside of here. And then the market just, you know, came down, gave me some pips, gave me a lot of pips and then before every time he gave me pips, he took it back, gave me pips, took it back, gave me pips, took it back. So at this point, I was like, fuck this shit. 
I just move my stop loss to break even because if there's anything I have learned from the market is when you know the market is struggling like you sell it goes up every time there's always an issue somewhere and you see that kind of price action movement happening at a very major level you have to be you cannot you have to leave pride aside Take the stop loss and move it to break even or slightly past break even. Okay, do your account a favor, right? So that's exactly what happened. Um, and then lo and behold, a couple of more days later, the market came and stopped me off for plus 30 pips, right? And the market has since rallied all the way back to the upside. Not that much. I mean, what has happened is the market has come to test this descending trend line. Now, we can look at this both ways once again. Maybe we're coming down in here to come in here to test the collapse. I mean, two weeks ago when I did the analysis, I did mention that gold will come in here to come and test somewhere around here. However, at the moment, gold is looking very indecisive to me. I'm not, that's just the bottom line. We can come down or we can go up. So I'm going to have to wait. Okay? Either direction, there's a lot of money to be made. Okay? Um, if gold does break to the upside, oh my goodness, we're looking at what two thousand and sixty-five dollars per ounce. Okay, that is um, that is definitely at least a thousand two hundred pips to the upside. Or if we break below, uh, we're looking at one six seven three. That's probably another eight hundred pips to go. So in situations like this, what I usually like to do is I just like to be really patient because. I don't want to be stupid and then start trying to look for trades that don't exist. And then at the end of the day, I lose money before it is time to even make money. I'll tell you what happens to most traders, right? Um, and, and there's a saying that I always stick by. The market can stay irrational longer than you can keep money in your trading account. What does that mean? The market can decide not to agree with you longer as in he can decide not to agree with you for a long time. He can outlive your trading capital. Irrational markets can outlive your trading capital. So what now happens is when the market eventually decides to agree with you, you look at your trading capital and you have nothing to execute the trade. And then what happens is that you start to demo. And then obviously now the market is agreeing with you. You're demoing and then you make some good results on your demo. You're like, ah, well, I said it. You know, you know, my strategy was correct. You know, I'm going to take some live money and go back into the live market. And then you now get back into an area where the market doesn't agree with you. So in order to avoid all that rigmarole and trader, that emotional trauma and that trader rigmarole and just killing yourself for no apparent reason, um, just learn when to just sit on your hands. Okay. Um, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have gotten so many messages from random people on the internet about them blowing their accounts. So many. And it just breaks my heart because people are turning to me like, what should I do? I'm like, dude, come on, man. How much is left? They're telling me some like maybe 1% of the entire capital is left. I'm like, dude, what the hell did you do? Right? You know, so it's situations like this where traders need to learn to just chill. You know, learn to chill. So I just wanted to also use this as a message. And guys, if you haven't already got in the Forex Mastery course, I suggest you do so because it will literally guide you and help you. It will tell, it will tell you when you should sit on your hands and when to pull the trigger. At this point, we don't know. It is okay not to know. You don't always need to be trading. You don't always have to be in and out of the market. Okay. You don't always have to do that. Okay, please take my advice. So, Euro at the moment, we don't know. Um, we're going to give it another one week. Okay? Give it another one. This pairs, Euro, Euro. Um, my focus is Euro, Dollar, and Gold. I'm going to... I. They're going to make me very... A lot of money this year. Like, I don't... I don't go into... Like, every year, I know I'm going to make a lot of money from Forex. How do I know this? Because, first of all, I know I'm technically skilled, and I'm so patient. Okay, I wait for the kill. I wait for the sniper entries. I wait for those moments. I wait for my moments on the charts, right? So this is what pretty much makes me very successful. I know without a doubt the market will eventually 
it will eventually get tired of being useless and become useful to me anyways guys so that's gold in a nutshell so i'm calling gold a 50 50 scenario if we break above here we need to take out these levels once we take this level out green bar next if we collapse lower this bar and then we're gonna come into this level somewhere about here okay so no entries for now I will keep you guys posted in my subsequent videos no entries for now however these are the two directions in which we can head in for gold however gold hasn't really told me what exactly it wants to do just yet now let me also go to the four hour time frame to basically try and see maybe um it's lying this thing is probably lying i knew it was going to be lying on some trend line somewhere about here yes okay so once again, I'm going to need a four hour close. Like, gold needs to bleed properly. Four hour, nice, serious. You know, like this. <laughs> it needs to stop down. Like, I see a four hour close. Like, you know, when you're cutting through a carton, you, you know, when your scissors go through, this is what I need. I need it to calm down. Like, calm down. Hey. We can look at you again, but for now, we don't know what you want to do. You can bounce out of here. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, right now, gold is a traitor. So, I'll be looking out for gold. I'll be watching to see what happens. Um, let me quickly give you guys one analysis on AUD USD. Um, AUD USD, there are no trades to be taken at the moment. However, I just want to quickly shed some light on what I feel the pair is doing at the moment. Uh, not actually AUD, it's actually GBP USD. So I think you can potentially trade GBP USD because I've seen some people trying to analyze GBP USD and they just seem to be getting it all wrong. So before I round this video up pretty nicely, GBP USD, if I just expand this um, properly, the cable I can see very straightforward left, middle, right triple bottom this market is now pointing to it so we have it anytime we have one two or double bottom or triple bottom next thing the market wants to do is start heading to the upside and guess what guys we have a on a monthly time frame let's actually go back to the monthly. let me delete all these things so that you guys can let's analyze this bad boy from scratch right let's analyze this bad boy from scratch from scratch from the get-go my mouse is starting to act up man Let's analyze this bad boy from scratch. All right, cool. So go over to monthly. Let's see. On the monthly time frame, you can see very well that we have left, middle, this we have left, middle, right. So this is a triple bottom. Um, we have pushed to the upside, slight rejection. We came down. However, the market is determined, very determined to push the upside, right? So we have a monthly candle close above key. The, this key region about here you already know forex mastery students you know next level target is going to be here without a doubt however before we get here i did notice something that i need to draw to your attention um, i remember when i was trading gbp usd very very vividly um back in 2018 about here this was a very major level right major guy we tried to break a couple of it was just wasn't happening it wasn't budging right this was a major guy the market just came in here and stuck here and stuck here again and then came up here so this is a this is a significant level now that being said we have broken this level and we know our next level target is here however we have this guy in between us here so what i feel gbp usd is going to do in the meantime um temporarily gbp not even temporarily overall gbp usd is bullish we have broken above we are clear okay don't get me wrong we are indeed clear you know i'm expecting gbp usd to see further upside same thing with the euro as well so the euro i'm expecting further upside gbp usd i'm expecting further upside uh, however we just have some temporary and minor issues at the moment so i'm expecting gbp usd to come into 1.38264 okay this level okay so this is where I'm expecting this pair to come into, right about here. Just zoom this in. So pretty nicely, pretty cool. Um, I expect a takeoff anytime, any moment from this week. Um, GBP USD will ascend into this level about here. However, once we get here, I would expect to see a significant rejection. 
because we're not going to, this level is not going to give up without a fight. Once we take out this level, ladies and gentlemen, 1.3500 is on the cards for GP. So we have literally a space of, I would say, maybe a thousand pips room to trade with. So, let's say once again, um, I did buy GBP USD somewhere about here, um, at the base somewhere about here, some some pips up in profit. Um, hopefully, we take out this current resistance that is affecting the brain, the market, the, the brain of the market at the moment. My stop losses have been moved to break even, so my entries were very simple. I just waited for this rejection of this level, a clear case of market manipulation, taking out all the stops coming back to close above it and they were pointing to the upside right about here um so i entered after this candle close and then i started to see some bullish momentum jumped in on the buy here some some profits i've moved my stop loss to break even the rule forex mastery students you know once we approach the 100 percent retracement you must always lock in what at least 25 percent of your profit and move stop losses to break even so that's what i've done so anything gbp gbp usd wants to do from here is his business but i'm i feel 80 percent we're going to take off to the upside about here i'm going to be holding my trades till we get here um two things are going to happen is either we pull back and stop me out for break even i've already banked some profit or we get to my overall target for some serious moolah you know so that's about 1.33 to 1 point so about 220 pips there about roughly I'm expecting to make on GBP USD. So, guys, um, that's pretty much my analysis today in a nutshell. I know I'm unable to give you guys those trade calls that you want to take and go and make a lot of money. However, this is just the reality on ground. This is what the market is trading. Do not worry. Come next week, I will be looking at the euro and I'll be looking at gold again to look for potential trading opportunities. And of course, I'll be giving to you guys here for free. All right, guys, take it easy and I'll catch you guys on my other screen. Do not, oh my God, I just hit my mic. Do not forget to drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, let's go back to my other screen. All right, people, there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's segment of Trader Talk. This is actually Trader Talk Volume 2. Like I said, guys, I always try and come on here as much as possible to basically be as, to basically explain to you guys what I'm looking at in the market, to try and be as transparent as possible because it's not always about talk, 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 the forex. You need to come and actually, I feel the need to actually come on here and show you guys how exactly this shit is done now for those of you guys who want to sign up to the forex mastery program the link is going to be down below It's one of the literally it will teach you how to analyze the forex market like the way i do is it's, it's, it's a course that I, I dedicated my whole life not my whole life but you know what i mean like i put in a lot of work guys you get the point all right guys so thank you for so much to stay until the very end if you haven't subscribed ensure to do now if you if you haven't subscribed ensure to do so now and if you haven't dropped me a, tell me if you found this video helpful in the comments so that i can respond to you guys and if you have any issues just drop me it just tell me what your issue with trading is in the comment and i will come on there and basically come and help you guys out so the comment section is there for you guys let's interact in the comment sections all right guys until next week i'm gonna catch you guys later take it easy and peace out